Hello and back! Welcome to the Fusion Dragon Fight, round two, against the boss of the game! This is probably gonna be in its own part, because the last one was 40 minutes when I lost. So you know that happened. But the Fusion Dragon is really seriously hard. And this time around, I'm gonna do things a little differently. I'm not gonna use the cheesy double genie strategy, or double defense genie strategy. But what I am gonna do is use my Ginny a lot more sparingly. There are still certain ones I want. Namely those two. And I am going to use these guys while I'm setting up. So I'm going to be using some summons. But... For the most part, I'm going to be trying to keep most of my Ginny set. As this will allow me assuming it doesn't use Ginny Storm, to, well, basically, it'll let me have a much higher survivability against his attacks. And it'll still be really tricky, but, well, it'll be, I would, I don't know if I would say it would be easier, because it'll take longer doing it this way, but it will be safer. And you just got cursed. Well, that that sucks. I need to do that now. I wanted to boost my resistance, but apparently that's not happening. Granite. Um, defense. And... This is the only way I can heal. A curse. So, yeah. Now then. Okay, well, that's fine. I didn't boost my attack power. And that doesn't seem to revert my agility changes, at least. And you're poisoned, of course. Typical. Wait. Do... I don't have a freaking antidote ring. Stop looking. Let's see... No point in doing this anymore, so I already used break. So let's just boost my resistance. And then that'll be the last genie I use of Ivan for a while. Mmm... Gravity, then I'll summon the level 3 Earth one. Let's see. I'm gonna do this one right now. You have the curse ring, you don't have anything. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one right now. And. Hmm. Let's see. Well, Cure Poison, followed by Nerity. And then that should carry me through for the turn, at least. The resistance boost is actually really important. I think. But I guess we'll find out how important it was. I mean, it won't be- it won't kill me again. The only reason it killed me before is because I was being careless with, with my, um, because I was trying to summon everything. Because I want, wanted to try to finish off quickly. And had that worked, it would have worked very well. But it didn't, so the result was that I got killed. And even as it is, I could have survived one party member going down. But I needed Isaac up and either Maya or Ivan. Had I had Isaac and one of them up with reasonably good health, I could have kept going. And I probably would have been able to recover, but well, I didn't, so I couldn't. That's just how it happens sometimes, you know? Let's see. I'm gonna use Protect with you, I think. 
Then I'm going to start attacking. And you need to use Wish. It would have been a lot nicer if I could use Neptune with Maya, but, well, she was poisoned, so what you gonna do? It, and honestly, it's probably better to keep the extra Ginny on her, as she will be um, tougher quicker this way. Yeah, like, look how much damage I'm doing with these. My level 3 Earth Ginny deal dealt nearly as much damage to this dragon like, uh, about 150 short, compared to Dreadbeard. No, wait, no, that's, that doesn't sound right. Wait. No, I'm full of it. Never mind. Still. It, it's a lot. And you just got cursed. Of course you... Two of them got cursed! Curse is such a bullshit status effect. I mean, it's going to take me two or three turns before I can cure it as well, so... I need to wait until the thing is... the right Ginny is set on Maya. And until I can block for a turn so I don't need to heal. Right, let's see. I'm thinking I'm just going to shine Plasma. Unless you can use Granite, which you can't. Or ground, which you can't. Yeah, Ragnarok. Hmm, I can use Flash this turn, though. So, do I have... Uh, no, I don't have Tonic. Okay, I'll use Tonic next turn. Hmm, I'm gonna try Heat Wave because I don't know how much damage it'll deal, but I suspect it won't be all that much. So, I'll probably default to regular attacks with Garrett. Unfortunately, he doesn't deal that much curse dealt damage to Ivan. Of course it did. Well, 120, that's actually not too bad. I think an Unleash with his weapon would probably deal more, but a regular attack may not. Man, Outer Space twice in a row is such bullshit. Just don't even talk to me about that. Hmm. Yeah, I should be fine with Flash Up. Um. Okay, we'll restore my agility. And drop his agility again, I guess. Then firewall, then heal. Tonic. Garrett is actually the fat. Uh, actually, no, he's flash. That's a priority move. It doesn't count. I was about to be really worried there for a second. If Garrett is the fastest person, then something has gone terribly wrong. And that does not affect my agility boost, so it's fine. I'm not actually sure everything break uh, gets rid of. I know it gets rid of your attack power, and I think it gets rid of more buffs than just that. But... Oh, come on! I just cured that! I... Uh, that's annoying. Okay, let's see... I am going to do... What am I going to do? I think Kite then summon next turn. I want to use Granite this turn, right? Or do I want to wait until next turn? Mm. Let's see. I think I waited until next turn. So, Ragnarok. You are gonna use Corona again. 
Yeah, you are. You... Actually, I could use Spritz. Then I can summon a better summon next turn. But... But... Hmm... No, I think I'll go stick with Wish Well. I mean, yeah, this seems like the best way to do it. Then I'll load a bunch of more summons on it next turn. Like level 2 summons, but summons all the same. Okay. Looks good. Altia. Um. Granite. Uh, do I want to use something else with you? Not really. Kirin. Spritz. Followed by... Nereid again. And then that should... I should be good for this round. Yeah. That's not really very much. Unfortunately. This will be even less, though, so... That'll pro... This will probably be the most, but that's not really saying much. Oh, another evil spirit. Well, I'm gonna need to fix that soon. Yep, you just did that. Did I boost my, ever boost my resistance? No. Let's do that. Let's also use ground. Do that. And... I'm probably gonna want to wish. Well... Hmm. It's only gonna get one attack. You know, let's try Glacier. Hmm. I probably should have used Wish. I would have been... Because I'm going to want to use, um... I'm going to want to use my Ginny to heal my Curse status again next turn. But I'm probably not going to be able to do that it this way. Well... Well... Hmm. I have Flash, so... I don't know, I might be able to get away with that. Yeah, okay, let's let's do this. Yeah, this seems good. That's gonna deal hardly anything. Just boost my wind power more though. And cursed. This'll probably hurt it pretty hard though. Actually, I wonder how high my elemental powers are right now. They should be pretty damn high at this point. Oh, and it just did that. I have my shield up, so that's actually pretty nice. Because otherwise... <laughs> otherwise... That would suck. Just outer space, man. It's nasty. And my agility just reset. And so did it. Let's see, you have 200. You have 194. You have 184. You have 200. I think it maxes out at 200. Actually, I'm looking at the resistance, not the power. 159. 200. <laughs> yeah, it totally maxes out at 200. Of course- oh no. Oh no, that's the curse from his item that I'm negating. 134, that's actually pretty low. And 144. Isaacs is just supernaturally high because of his equipment. 
let's see. I need to use Zephyr. I want can't use Vine. That'll have to wait until next turn. So Ragnarok. Um. Hmm. I can use Corona. So let's do that. And I don't really want to summon something. So let's use Wish Well. And I killed it! Yeah! I thought it had more HP, actually. It didn't use Genie Storm either. Maybe that's only in the sequel. I could have sworn Fusion Dragon had it, though. Uh. Oh well. In any case, I beat the dragon! Woohoo! How did we lose? We are superior in every way, but we were defeated. And they fall into the lighthouse. Yeah, we did. We beat them, but have we... Uh, no. Well, they lit the lighthouse, and Felix got away with Sheba, and who knows what else. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you say that, but... But Felix is gone, and he's taken Sheba. What's with you guys? Isaac, what are you looking at? What the hell is he doing here? No one knew their power better than I did. If you destroyed them. Then I am no match for you, Isaac. Come, Sheba. Wait! Why do you run from us? They fell into the lighthouse. It's all over. Poor fools. If you think it's over, you're sadly mistaken. If you plan on to light the other beacons, you still need... The elemental star? You have one. You have the Jupiter star. Uh, well, if you... Um... Well, uh, anyway. What will happen if you don't? There's no- Of course it's use- There's use in talking about it. They just- Why did you do this to me? Uh. Uh oh. That doesn't look very good. Also, is there a wall? Uh, oh. That just happened. It just split into quarters. I wonder if it was just the top that did this or the whole tower did. Were we just floating there for a second? It kind of looked like it. Well, the lighthouse is lit. No Shiba. Uh-oh. This is bad. You must try. If you don't, you'll fall. Look down. The foundations of the lighthouse are crumbling. They're... I guess the whole lighthouse split. Then, and not just the top. Why is this happening? Is it to protect the lighthouse? I'm slipping. I can't hold on any longer. No, don't let go! Uh. 
What just happened? Ah! Uh, what? Felix! What? Also, Isaac has a portrait. Check it out. He still doesn't actually say anything, though. Incidentally, Isaac isn't mute like the typical video game protagonist. He is merely a man of few words. He can talk, he just chooses not to. <laughs> so figure that one out. And Felix jumped after her. Well, if you land in the water, obviously you'll be fun. No, it doesn't work that way. Um. No kidding. These lighthouses are massive. There's no way you could survive a fall from this height under normal circumstances. Um. You know, I gotta be honest, even if he somehow catches up with Shiva, I don't think him being at the, following with, with her will actually save her. I mean, they're both falling really quickly, and even if he uses his body to like shield her from the impact, it's still gonna be one hell of an impact. I mean, well, either, either way, one thing that, that is for sure is he won't survive it. I mean, no one could possibly survive a fall like that. Actually, that's a good question. What about Jenna and the others? We should go track them down. We've got to find Jenna. I agree, Garrett. Um... Anyway... Yes, we should. Wait, what? Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oops. <laughs> I like this way better. <laughs> You're gonna have to find a way to, t to console Jenna. What is the matter? I was just thinking, how the heck are we supposed to get down? Uh, that's a very good question. Good point. This is v going to make leaving very difficult. Uh, oh, the tower just reassembled itself. That's convenient. No kidding. I guess it needed to split up so that the orb could come? I, you know, I'm not even gonna question that. I just said I'm not gonna question it, Garrett. <laughs> Yeah, Maya has the right idea. I don't think we'll ever know. At least now, we can go search for Jenna and the others. Alright, let's go, Isaac. It's time to find Jenna. But despite a long search and tiring search, Jenna was nowhere to be found. How did the search for Sheba turn out? We were unable to find any sign of her. The seas are too rough to search. And there's no sign of her on land. Tolby is responsible for Sheba's fate. No apology can reflect the sorrow I feel at your loss, Farron. All we can do now for Sheba is hope. But tell me, what of Jenna and the others? The same. We've searched all over, but they're nowhere to be found. The ground tore apart from the shock of the lighthouse, and the ship... Apparently, everything at Itajima, including the ship, was swept away. So, Itajima itself washed out to sea? Ah, uh, that seems to be the case. Incredible. Then the cave, too, has been flooded. I suppose so. 
But we think Jenna and the others are still alive. They may have been washed out to sea with Ida Jima. We have decided to continue searching for her. Okay. Well, yes. Do not worry about Shiba. I just hope you are able to find her. Yeah, maybe. I mean, she's probably dead, but... Uh, then again, now that I think about it, she is. She did fall from the sky, didn't she? So, maybe she isn't dead. Who knows, it's possible. I mean, if you su survive one fall from the sky, you can probably survive a second one. Um, anyway... Who knew the sea would rise up to the lighthouse just as she fell? She... it did what now? Can you really call that a miracle? Uh... Okay. Nothing is coincidental when it comes to that child. So you believe Sheba survived? Well, truthfully, he seems to know her better than I do, so... I don't... well, um... Does he even know what that is? No, he doesn't. It's someone with abilities like theirs. Yeah, that's a probably a pretty quick way to explain it. I, I know I am. Why don't you tell me some more how amazing I am? You were able to enter the ancient ruins and get to the lighthouse! But Sheba was different. She couldn't enter the ruins. Well, she's not an Earth adept, so... No matter how many times I explain that to Farron, he doesn't get it! <laughs> I suppose not. Go, go, go! That's right, didn't come... <laughs> that didn't come out right. We mean that while we're talking, Jenna and the others are... yeah. Okay, so stop talking so we can go look. No kidding. I mean, it made a huge-ass earthquake, so... It sort of stands to reason that the seas would be somewhat turbulent as a result. That, that, that They tend to go hand-in-hand. Hand. And I'm fully healed, and I'm not... Well, I'm cursed, but I'm not... possessed. Please wait out, wait for me outside Farron's house. I wish to speak to you. Okay. Uh, before I go out, though... I must explain their promise to Lord Babby before it's too late! So there are people like Isaac and his friends in Angara. If only I were a little younger, I'd, I'd go to Angara. Farron says, knowing her powers, Sheba is alive without a doubt. But I can't be sure as Farron until I see her. Oh, How sweet. Indeed I am, little kid. Oh, well, that's nice of you to say. They say the lighthouse crumbled down. That That's as it should be. Tolby is to be blamed for what happened to Shiba! Tolby should be cursed and destroyed! Well, be careful what you wish for. No one's on the roof.
No, I didn't forget. I know we need to leave, but we should hear what Iodem has to say. We can delay our departure a little longer. Let's wait. If he would just hurry up already. There he is. As you no doubt have guessed, I need to speak with you about Lemuria. Yes, the island of the ancients far out to sea. When you could not find Jenna, you returned to Venus Lighthouse. Yep, the base of the lighthouse was flooded, so we couldn't get it. Out? What? I guess on our way out of the lighthouse? Hmm. An area wrapped in mist. That sounds interesting. I remember how Babby said Lemuria was always covered in mist. I am not sure, but I am beginning to think that may be Lemuria. If it is, then Babby's life... Could be saved? Yes. So it would seem. Good, then it's settled. I'll make arrangements for you to leave at once. I mean, we need a boat anyway to look for Jenna, so... That is the other reason I wanted to see you. To give you this. The Black Orb, which controls our boat. Or the, well, I say our boat. It controls Babby's boat. Or ship, rather. Uh, anyway. <laughs> it wasn't? That must have been Saturn Samaria's ship then. No, I think it seems pretty likely that was their ship. Well, I suppose that is true. They are gone. I mean, we can't verify it, but it seems pretty damn likely. That we can do. It certainly will aid us in our search for Jenna. Indeed. It will make your search for Jenna easier. But I want you to find Lemuria as soon as possible. We promised Babby we would find Lemuria. We will not fail him. The ship is docked at the edge of town. You will know it when you see it. Farewell, and bring back news of Lemuria. Fare thee well, good sir. Yep, let's go check it out. Okay, so stop saying we'll leave and leave. Out we go. Oh, I guess it's the other way. Okay, fair enough. Okay, we can't go th- Where the hell is the boat? Uh, oh wait, I know where it is. Here. Had to think about that for a second. Reveal! There's probably nothing in here, but... Old habits die hard. Reveal! Reveal! Nope, nothing. The Lemurian ship. Submerged in water. Until we use the black orb to make it rise again. And rise it will. You know, this ship is floating quite high in the water. 
Hmm. It's time to leave in indeed. It's be it's so strange we've been traveling for so long. And yet it feels like the journey has only just begun. Now I think uh, now that I think about it, so many things have happened. But our journey will be over as soon as we find Jenna. Uh, no. So many things. Of course he forgot, he's an idiot. Our promise to Babby. Lemuria! I wonder what kind of place Lemuria is. We have to find Jenna before going to Lemuria, don't we? Yes. At any rate, this will be our first time on the ocean. So this is the ocean Kraden wanted me to see. Indeed it is, Garrett. I think we'll be fine. After all. To the sea. That she is. Make it go forward! But... But how? I don't know how! It's not my job to know! I wanted to go forward, though! Make it go forward, sir! And uh, forward it goes. <laughs> and on that note, we have finished. For real. <laughs> Let's play Golden Sun. This was a long one. I mean, just this last episode. Like, it's probably a good thing I died where I did it on Fusion Dragon. Otherwise, this would have been, like, way over an hour long. As it is, it's still kind of ridiculous. But, anyway... This has been really fun to do, and I know not many people have been watching this, at least as of, as of the time of me recording this, but anyone who has, I'm really glad you did, and I really hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun for me to play this game. It was the first time I've played it since I was in, I don't even know, since I was in high school, probably. Maybe even earlier. But it's just such a good game. The battle system is simple, but very fast-paced and effective. It's maybe not the hardest game, but it's not overwhelmingly easy either. And it has great music. If it, if it has one weak spot, it's probably the dialogue, and even that isn't bad, it's just... Well, they had a... Alice just doesn't have the best translation staff sometimes. <laughs> That's something they've gotten better about over time, I think. Now, I will be playing the sequel, The Lost Age. However, I'm not going to be doing it right away. I need a break from Golden Sun. And I don't really and also I want to give this a chance to get catch the attention of a few more people before I start its sequel anyway. So here's what I'm gonna be doing. I am going well, actually, you know, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna be doing, because I'll post a video about it that's not Golden Sun, so other people actually listen to it. Um <laughs> But I do have a plan for what I'm doing next. And it's going to sort of involve a schedule change. But I think it'll work out really well. And, well, actually, to be honest, I'll probably have to do a schedule change anyway, because it'll be a new... Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Thank you so much for watching. All of you who are. And just one more time, I just had a lot of fun. So And have... And... Until next time.
Have a fantastic day. Bye.